Well, hello, YouTube. Eugene here with the review on the Juden Sentai Kyuyu Jujuden Yu Series 00. Topa Spino. Yes, friends. Let's go ahead and take a box. Right here says Juden Sentai Kyuyu. Right here says Juden Yu Series 00. Topa Spino. Got a nice shot of Topa Spino. And we got a nice shot of Kyuyu Red and Death Yuji. And of course, this little icon does indicate we do get a Judenshi with uh, Topa Spino here. In the background, got a nice shot of Spino Dayo. And right here, it does say Gabarincho. And right here, this little icon does indicate we do have sounds with our boy here, Topa Spino. So here's the top of the box. Here's the bottom of the box. Here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. And here is the back of the box. There's pretty much everything I'll be showing you in this review of Topo Spino. Alright friends, so Topo Spino first appeared in the movie Juden Sentai Kill Yu Gabin Cho of Music. He later on appeared in episodes 39, 41, and 42 of Kill Yu Jir. Topo Spino holds a record for being the most recurring movie mecha to appear in the show with three episodes. Topo Spino was Death Yuger's forced partner, but later becomes Kill Yu Navy's rightful partner. Topo Spino is the only Juden Yu who is not part of the 10 great Juden Yu being created before them. So take a look at Topo Spino. And so friends, Topo Spino is a repaint, remold of Gabatera. And the big difference here are the head, the dino arms, and this piece on the back, which is the cell fin. And so Topo Spino is a Spinosaurus themed Juden Yu, which is in this very nice navy color scheme. And so taking a look at his head now, uh, which is rather long and narrow. And you can see the eyes in a nice red there. And then uh, he's got a navy upper jaw. And he's got a yellow lower jaw here. And you can see the mouth doesn't close all the way because there is a gap between the teeth. And uh, you can see right there, there is our Jidenshi slot, which is also visible. And you, you, you can uh, lower the jaw, which is on a hinge here. And you can click it to two different points here. And uh, anyway, you can see the uh, teeth are in a nice silver there, as well as a nice silver accent here by his nose. And uh, pretty much the same thing on the other side here of his head. Now on his back, this section here goes along with his Spinosaurus feature. And it is his cell fin, which has some nice details and silver lining looks really nice along it and everything but uh anyway his dino arms uh they're pretty much are quite a bit longer with these uh silver painted hands and of course which uh, can move as well due to this hinge right here so you can have it go down and up so but anyway the rest of the body friends is the same as gavatera uh, still got the uh, button here to activate the sounds as well as your speaker for the sounds here and the tail is still the same of course and of course got the uh, silver lining still on the body as well and uh, there's the uh, two clips here and so on the other side of Topo Spino here you can see uh, still got the on and off switch right here and he does take uh, two AAA batteries this is where your battery compartment is and you can see he's, he's still got the four clips right here. And so, anyway, uh, and, and you know, still uh, nice details on this side as well. And then uh, right here, he's got the connector underneath his neck. And underneath his feet, he's still got the clips here. See, there are the clips here. And then uh, here's the back view of him. So, he looks all around nice. So overall, friends, I think this is a very clever idea using a T-Rex body for this, and I dig this. And this is a very nice repaint remote. Always have been a fan of repaint remotes of the movie Mechas. So bringing in Gabatera here just to do a, a quick comparison with Topo Spino. And so pretty much, like I said, different color scheme with a added piece, different heads and arms. And so... Friends, I'm going to say this, Topo Spino is not like Gabatera, meaning he doesn't have a Jidenshi reader. And the functions are set for Topo Spino only. And I will show you that later on when I do the sounds later on in this review. So here is the Jidenshi that comes with Topo Spino. And it is a Topo Spino Jidenshi, which has the number 00. zero and we got some nice navy here. And then right here, it's got the Topo Spino emblem, or the Spinosaurus here. 
and uh, got some nice uh, shiny and glittery and you can see the eye is in a yellow here and above the eye has the button so we'll hit it pretty much to breathe in and we flip to ghosts where it glows in the dark and so anyway got the pin system here and it's pretty much on both sides here and then on the back it's got uh, topo spino and more nice navy here and so I'm going to go ahead and get out the Gavatera Jit Inchi just to do a quick comparison here. You can see the difference here. Uh, you can see pretty much in numbers uh, when it comes to, you would think it would be just zero, but they went with uh, two zeros. And you can see uh, when it comes to the other Jit um, they didn't go with zero one, they just did one. Now let's do the sounds of the Topo Spino Jit Inchi in the Gabba Revolver. So here we go. All right. So let's go ahead now and spit in the chamber. Fire! Alright, let's go ahead and spin the chamber again. Alright, now let's go ahead and add in another uh, Jidenshi. So here we go with the Gabatera Jidenshi and we'll put it in the other slot. Alright, let's spit the chamber. For fun, we'll go ahead and just do the arm on. So here we go. Now the sounds of the Topo Speed on Jadinchi and Kill Eugen. So here we go. Now let's go ahead and do the sounds of Topo Spino. So let's go ahead and turn him on. One more time. So the standard on and off sound we've heard for the majority of the Kyuujur Mecha toy line here. And so now we'll go ahead and do the sounds without a Jin and Chi in it. So we'll go ahead and just hit this button here. And uh, one more time. So pretty much a high-pitched dino screeching sound. It's a cool sound, but it's not the original sound when, uh, which was taken from the Kill You Origami from Samurai Sentai Shinkanger's movies Mecha. But we did hear this high-pitched screeching sound in those three episodes that Topo Spino appeared in. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Which is really, really cool. Anyway, so I'm going to now and hold the button. I'm going to do it two more times. And one more time. So like I said, friends, he doesn't have a Jidenshi reader. So go ahead now and do the sounds with a Jidenshi inside. And so we'll start off with the uh, Topo Spina Jidenshi here. And so here we go. And when you do insert a Jidenshi, it will flip out this part, and which becomes a boomerang-like fin. Um... And pretty much for his battle mode, as he tosses it like a like a boomerang, you know, like you usually do. And so, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, pretty much show you the proof here that it doesn't have a reader here. So here is the uh, Gavatera Jidenchi. So here we go. And then, uh, since you know this does involve Anki Don and Bupanki, here is. Uh, I'm Anki Don's Jidenshi, so just to do a little proof here. <clears throat> and then um, we'll go ahead and do Boom Pocky. And so clearly you can do this without a Jidenshi inside. I mean, you can put your finger in it and hit that little uh, button. So anyway, so we'll put the uh, Topo Spino Jidenshi back in. So 
So that's pretty much the proof of the functions, mainly with Gabatera, Ankidon, and Bukpunky's Jidenchi, you know, mainly showing off the functions that it only has the functions for Topospino. Now let's go to the transformation of Topo Spino, Ankidon, and Book Punky to become Spino Dio. Pretty much was a force gun dite in the movie here, friends. And so, uh, pretty much with Topo Spino, it's the same way as you did Gabatero. Remove the tail. And then you will go ahead and fold back the legs until you lock them in place. Then you're going to go ahead and press these two buttons here to fold them down. And then we'll go ahead and raise up the body now here. And we'll go ahead and drop down the dino arms here. Then we'll go ahead and rotate the waist. And then we'll go ahead and split the legs. Fold down these panels like so. And then up here you're going to move this cell fin. Uh, which will reveal the head. Now take these two pieces apart here. And I'll close this in. And then uh, right here has the handle here, which is the uh, Spino Defensor and the Spino Boomerang. And so anyway, we're going to take this tail piece here and pretty much we'll go ahead and open it up here. And then uh, here is, uh, we'll take out the helmet piece here. And then, which pretty much will reveal to us the new helmet piece here. But anyway, we'll go ahead and detach the tail to the back like so here with those two clips to the back. And lastly, we'll go ahead and uh, pretty much we'll go ahead and um, attach it on the top, this new helmet piece, like so. Now I have Ankidon and Bupaki in their arm modes, uh, mainly to connect them into Topospino's connector. So Ankidon uh, being the right arm and Bupaki being the left. And to complete this transformation, we'll go ahead and put the Spino Boomerang and the Spino Defensor in his hand here. So, pretty much here we go with uh, Anki Don's side. And then here we go with Boom Pocky's side here. Like so. So here he is, friends, Spino Dio. And I totally dig this, mainly the combo Topo Spino with Anki Don and Boom Pocky. And I gotta say, he totally does kick ass in both the movie and the show literally he does and i love the selection of weapon weapons he has a hammer ball and chain a boomerang and a shield so now let's go ahead and perform the sound to pretty much complete this transformation so here we go Yay, Spino, Dio, and, and a very awesome fanfare here. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Now the other thing I need to mention here is pretty much the colors on this mecha and mainly the combo of the three of Topa Spino, Ankidon, and Boom Pocky. I think the adding the navy and the scion and the uh, the gray and then you know adding the accent color of yellow is really nice. Gives this mech a nice splash of color here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and drag this guy closer to the camera here so we can check out the face scope here. And the face scope here looks great. I mean, I really dig it and everything. Uh, it's a, which is a nice new face sculpt here, which has this tilted crescent moon design in yellow there. And you can see as well as a red visor that covers the eyes. And the red on the visor here kind of looks like it has like a metallic finish to it, but it looks really, really nice all around here. And lastly, here we go with the articulation. Articulation is the same as Kyujin, and that's pretty much the arms here. But as you can see, the arms can go out to a 90 degrees, and that's pretty much all on the articulation here. But anyway, and uh, also that fanfare you heard earlier, whenever I introduced Spino Dio, kind of reminds me of something. Does it to you? Well, let's hear it one more time.
Well, friends, my final thoughts on Topo Spino. I pretty much gave you all my input, all terms of you how I feel about him and everything. But love Topo Spino to death. Like I said earlier, a nice repaint remote of Gabatera. I do recommend him, but friends, he's very pricey these days. Not cheap like he was when he first came out seven years ago. If you like Death Uger or Kiyu Navy, go pick him up. Just be aware of the price of this guy. And I lucked out, knock on wood, finally after seven years, he is finally mine. And so, I do like the Jodenshi that comes with them, which is the Topo Spino Jodenshi, and I do love the sounds that Topo Spino has, and, you know, the the functions with him, you know, just his name, and then Spino Dio, and the formation, everything. So, in other words, friends, I like everything of Topo Spino. So, all I can say is, friends, good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, that's it for this video. Please check out my blog, phone, Twitter, my Facebook, and make sure, friends, you hit that bell icon when I upload a new video. And of course, my friends, it's a view on the Juden Sentai Kill You, Juden You Series 00, Topa Spino. I hope you enjoy. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out with a good day. And my friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye, friends.